Hello everybody, uh, hello YouTubers and everybody out there. Welcome to Pressure Crisp, my name is Lisa and today we're going to be making an epic eggplant sandwich. You don't have to make the sandwich, you can just make this eggplant, cook some pasta up, serve it with a marinara with the eggplant on the side or on top. Also, if you pick up those Asian eggplants, like the long skinny ones, similar to like a small zucchini size, these they make excellent eggplant Parmesan chips. Serve as an appetizer, serve as a lunch, whatever you want to do, but they are so delicious. So, um, we might as well just get started, but first I gotta power up on some uh, coffee. Delicious, so let's just get started. So to get started, what you're gonna need, let me put my coffee off to the side, because you really don't need to see that. What you're gonna need is an eggplant. Okay, I picked this eggplant up at a local, well I wouldn't say local, it's probably like an 45 minutes to an hour away, but it was a nice drive to get there. It's out in Skahari County. We're doing this gorgeous looking eggplant. You're also going to need the typical dredging station supplies. You're going to need some panko. You're going to need some plain breadcrumbs. Some Parmesan cheese. Italian seasoning, black pepper, garlic, salt of course. You're going to need some kind of oil. I do believe this is olive oil. Sometimes I decide to use avocado oil. Just whatever I have in the house. You're also going to need some eggs. Some beautiful delicious rolls. Some mozzarella cheese. And I think that's all you're gonna need. Oh, I forgot. And some all-purpose flour. So let's just get started on this. Uh, I just got flour everywhere. And now I got flour all over the eggplant, but that's not a big deal. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna cut. I like to go underneath this green stem, just like that. And just go as far as you can and then cut that green stem right off, just like that. Toss that into the trash. And I'm just gonna cut this end off. It just makes peeling, I think, easier. You don't have to peel your eggplant. I don't like it, and uh, my mother doesn't like it on there, but you can leave the skin on. And this is all we're gonna do. Just gonna peel the eggplant. Now to cut the eggplant. Okay, once again, I always like to say this because it's personal preference. Some people like it thick, we don't like it thick. We maybe like it, maybe like that, about that thick like that. But I just like to eyeball it. Because once again, nothing has to be perfect. Cooking is not perfection. Cooking is ever evolving. Cooking is just love. All the eggplant is cut. Now what you would, would traditionally do, or at least what my mother always did and what her friend did, and she was Italian, they would salt these bad boys. They would put these on salt, put them on a uh, like a paper towel lined uh, sheet pan and or a uh, colander, depending on how much they were making, but usually it was by the sheet pan, because when they cooked, they cooked. But we're actually gonna cheat our way through getting some of the moisture out of here. Because if you don't take the moisture out, it'll be very mushy, which is fine for like a dip or something. But this is going on a sandwich. We don't want it too wet. So to get around the salting process, what I do, you're gonna air fry these. Oh, air crisp them, excuse me. Um, you're gonna air crisp these for a few minutes to take most of the moisture out of these guys and it saves that step of salt in. What I do, you're just gonna put all these in here. In the past, what I would do is do a few at a time, but this, but what I've noticed, you can actually put them all in here. Here's a close-up shot of this. You can just toss them all in here, which is nice, because you don't have to do it in batches, and that kind of wastes a lot of time. Whoop, I put that one over. And I try not to get them, stack them. I do the best I can of just going around like this. And that's all there is to it. And you're just gonna go ahead and close the lid. The Ninja Foodie is on. We're gonna choose Air Crisp, but we're gonna bring it down all the way. 
Sorry, the microphone's in front of me and I'm behind. You're gonna bring this all the way down to 300. I'm just gonna hit start. It defaults to 20 minutes, but while it's running, I'm just gonna lower the time. We're only gonna do this for probably like three or four minutes, but I'll set it for five minutes. We'll check it like two minutes to see how it's going. While the eggplant is air crisping, well, we're not air crisping it. Yeah, we are. We're drying that eggplant out. So while that's happening, what we're gonna do we're gonna set up our dredging station. So as soon as these guys come out of here, we can start dipping them and putting them right back into the basket. To this bowl, we're gonna go ahead and add a half a cup of all-purpose flour. To the flour, we're gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of granulated garlic. And we're also gonna go ahead and add like a half a teaspoon of salt to a teaspoon of salt to this flour mixture. Then we're going to whisk. Whoops. And <laughs> then we're just going to put this off to the side. Let me move my coffee. We're going to go ahead and crack two eggs. And you're just going to whisk these eggs together. I'm just going to go ahead and use straight egg today. You can add a little bit of milk if you would like to. You can also add salt, pepper, and whatever seasoning you want to the egg mixture as well. Let's put that up there. Last but not least, the crunchy station. I like to call it the crunch station, but it's really not. To this, we're just going to go ahead and add like a quarter cup to a half a cup. It depends on how many you're making of plain breadcrumbs. Let's see, that's panko. That's probably like three quarters. I'm actually going to go ahead and add a bit more. I'm just mixing it together to see what we have. So we're going to go actually go ahead and probably add one cup of panko. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add a bit more of this. Whoa. This is probably like a cup of panko to like a half a cup of plain breadcrumbs. Now we're going to season this up. We're gonna go ahead and add a teaspoon of garlic. You're also gonna add a teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of um, Italian seasoning. We're just gonna add a bit of salt, maybe like a half a teaspoon of salt. Then you're also gonna add a quarter teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm just gonna use my hands to mix this up. You can use a whisk. I dirtied mine already, so just mixing this up. The Parmesan cheese will be nicely because this is like an Italian style uh, eggplant sandwich that we're doing here today. Okay, here's the complete station. We are all set up. Okay, so that eggplant has been cooking for about, it's been five minutes on this eggplant. I'm just gonna reach in here and give it a touch here, give it a feel. All right, I think this is done. So it's been five minutes on these chunks of eggplant. I'm thinking these are probably like quarter to a half inch pieces um, of eggplant. But I think this is good enough for a sandwich because you don't want it too dry and you don't want it too mushy. So it's a fine line. Just gauge it by eye. Feel it. I mean, we still have some moisture in there, as you can see. But I still want a little bit of moisture to almost like complement these sandwiches. Like, but I don't want complete mush. So I'm just going to take these out with my hands, use tongs, and just put them over here on a quarter sheet pan. There we go. All right, so we are looking good here. We are looking really good. Like this is a perfect, I'd probably do a little bit thinner for like the snack pack pieces, but the, uh, these, uh, this is this is gonna be so good. All right, let's get rolling here. So what I'm gonna do is take, we're getting some condensation. You're gonna take that eggplant and you're just gonna dredge it like, like you would any other uh, item that I've done. You want it completely coated, make sure you get the sides Shake off the excess, whoops, missed a bit. You're gonna shake off the excess. Go ahead and put it right into the egg mixture. Once again, make sure you get all the sides on the eggplant because if it's not wet, this crunchy, crunchy breadcrumbs, they will not stick. Once again, try to keep one hand clean and one hand dirty, which is virtually impossible for me. And then you're gonna flip it over, just push the crumbs into the eggplant just to make sure we get a nice coating. Make sure the sides, push it into the sides, because you want this, this coating to stick. All right, 
And I'm just gonna place them right on this sheet pan. And I'm gonna show you one more. There we are, just put it into the flour mixture. Shake off the excess. Toss it into the egg. Oops, make sure every side is coated. Sometimes you gotta keep flipping it because it's for some reason it doesn't stick to the flour. Place it right into the breadcrumbs. Take your clean hand. Oh, look at this, I'm actually doing this right. But wait till I go off camera. Once I'm off camera, it's gonna be a two-handed affair. All right, beautiful. Take that, you wanna push that crunchy, cheesy goodness right into these eggplant pieces. These eggplant pieces never fail. And I just like to eat them plain or on a sandwich, whatever you wanna do. So let me go ahead and finish these up and then we'll pop them into the air crisp basket. Okay, so we are finished with the breading process. We're gonna go ahead and take your oil of choice. I'm using olive oil. And we're just going to spray these eggplant pieces. Just want a light coating of oil. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over. There we go. And we're gonna spray the other side. Just like so. You should get yourself one of these. These are well worth the money. I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up. And we're just going to place them right into the air crisp basket. We'll probably have to do this in two batches. Possibly three. I'm trying to get as many in here as I can. And that's good. If I had a small one, I'd put it right there, but we'll get these next into the next batch. Go ahead and close your lid. Ninja Foodie is on. We're gonna select Air Crisp, bring it all the way up to 400, hit start. It defaults to 20 minutes, and we're actually gonna lower the time. These are a bit thicker, so I'm gonna set them for 15. I do wanna point out that you, whenever you're air crisping or air frying something, you wanna place it on like a wire baker's rack, just so the bottom doesn't get soggy. It just prevents that, especially if you're not eating them right away. I do wanna say I went outside to the baby little garden I have in the backyard and picked some parsley that was left. We have a woodchuck problem. He ate most of the garden. Um, so I'm just taking the big leaves. Look at the size of these. Giant, giant leaves. I did also, we also had some beautiful looking basil that I was growing. And it's funny, the woodchuck didn't, the woodchuck doesn't like basil. So, but he does enjoy parsley. Maybe he just wanted to freshen himself up. So I'm just going to take this off and uh, we're just going to chop this up. And we're just, this is going to be our garnish for the, um, Eggplant sandwiches that we're making. There we go. Let me take this. And I hope to make some pesto with the basil as well. Because there's like three or four plants out there. And they're doing fantastic. So to do basil, I think it's called a chiffonade. I do believe it's called a chiffonade. Just going to roll it up like a, um, like a cigar, I guess. And you're just going to cut. You want to make sure you have a really sharp knife. And just cut. Oh, and a shout out to the person on, uh, that left the comment about my uh, cutting board moving all over the place. I did put a wet paper towel underneath. Thank you so much. Works beautifully. Look at that. These are just gorgeous. Now, you don't want a little twirl, so we're just going to finish up and chop these. There you go. Oh, oh this smells, whew, smells wonderful. What I do with the parsley, I just like to bunch it up, just like so. And separate these, put that off to the side. And once again, make sure you have a sharp knife and just go through and chop this parsley. What I do sometimes is put it back together like that and chop it again. Because you don't want big pieces of parsley. This is just a garnish. Uh, once again, if you could smell these fresh herbs. You know something, if you do have the space you should plant some of these, or get one of those indoor garden things. I think my mother used to have one. And it's so nice just to pick a little bit off and just freshen it up. It looks fantastic because food is like, food is like artwork. It's, you want your food visually appealing and for some reason it just tastes better. Oh, and there's one more thing that I also wanna discuss. The roll. People don't realize or understand how important the bread 
or the holding device is for each particular sandwich. Since we're doing Italian, we're doing this eggplant Italian style. I am in the future going to be doing another video with eggplant, but it's going to be different. It's going to be a, it's going to be really good, but it's just going to be a little different than the usual Italian way that I make it. I find this roll, what's that, about four inches maybe, four or five inches. This seems to be, it goes over the best, because I do have larger rolls that I can cut in half, which I'll show you. I was going to use this one, but I could actually make this size as well as this size. But I find this one, it's just, it, it picks up nice, it's just a nice, nice size roll. So what I like to do with these, these come pre-sliced. Now I like to cut all the way through. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the rest of the way through. Whoops. And what I like to do, we're just getting this ready because the eggplant's still cooking, which I just looked at. It's coming along a few more minutes, and then we're going to flip it. You're just going to take a little bit of butter, and you're going to butter the bread. You don't want a ton of butter, but you want a nice, nice coating of butter on here. Beautiful. And what I like to do with this is, once again, we're just prepping this. You're going to take some garlic powder or garlic granulated garlic, and you're just going to put a light coating of garlic on here. This just adds, gives it more flavor, and it's going to taste great. But we're going to set these off to the side, because now we're going to go over and check on the eggplant. Okay, we're gonna pop the top. We've got about four minutes and 55 seconds left. Ooh, these look fantastic. We're just going to go ahead and flip these. Once again, please be careful. Um, I tend to use my fingers, which I don't encourage others to do. Go ahead and use the spatula if you have it, like I have here. Okay, if you notice any dry spots, you're gonna actually go ahead and spray these with a bit more oil, if you see any dry spots. We're just going to go ahead and lower the lid. And these should be done in the five minutes. They should be nice, toasty, golden brown. So these eggplant rounds are done. We're just going to go ahead and take a spatula, take them out. Look at these. Gorgeous. Once again, since these are air crisp or air fried, you want to put them on a baker's rack so they do not get soggy. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take these eggplants out. And to make this sandwich, I'm actually gonna take the roll that we buttered, and we're just gonna put it right in there. And you're gonna broil this for probably one to two minutes. So you're gonna go ahead and select broil. It automatically defaults to 10 minutes. I'm just gonna hit start. You can bring it down to like two minutes. I'm gonna leave it on three, because I don't want it to shut off all the way. But I wanna keep track of um, the browning of this roll. Look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. So I've been cooking for like one minute. Once again, use tongs. This is going to be very hot. Woo! I'm using my fingers. Not good, hot, hot, hot. Now, we are going to create this epic eggplant sandwich. Okay. Beautiful, good size roll. You can go ahead and add sauce on the bottom if you would like. I'm not going to do that because I always provide like a dipping sauce. She's just going to go back and reach for these beautiful, gorgeous eggplant pieces. Look at that. Awesome. Just awesome. Let me see here. Let me put one more in the middle. So what I like to do, you're going to go ahead and add sauce of your choice. It's whatever you like. I just like to put it on top of the eggplant. Once again, I just put a light coating because I always provide like an extra uh, marinara to dip. I find that goes over much better because you don't want like a super soggy sandwich. Just like that. Next, we're gonna add the mozzarella cheese. There we go. Just gonna put this all over the top, just like that. I put down a piece of parchment paper to catch, catch the excess mozzarella. And once again, if you want to make this epic, you want to add a ton of cheese. So we're just going to catch this. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, here comes the tricky part. Whoops. 
You're going to take this lovely, terrific, delicious looking sandwich and you're gonna put it into the Ninja Foodi and we're going to broil it for a few minutes. Okay, you guys ready to do this? I sure am. Once again, you're gonna to have to be careful. Um, you gotta be very careful because this Ninja Foodi is warm. Watch the sides of your arms and watch everything else. That went in beautifully. Gonna go ahead and lower the lid. The broiler part should still be on. If not, select broil. And I would do like, you can set it for three minutes, but it's gonna be happen anywhere between one to three minutes, depending on how much you like your cheese melted and if you want it brown. Okay. Somebody took a bite out of this one. Yes, it was me. I couldn't help myself, I had to try it. This is delicious, by the way. Mmm. This is really good. Look at that. Get a little bit of the mushy eggplant. It's cooked perfectly, seasoned perfectly. Look at that. Can you hear the crunch? Listen. Oh my god. So good. Let me check this eggplant. Almost there. Okay. Let me go in here. Oh no, it's not really ready. We're gonna do it uh, for the remainder 22 seconds, which will bring it right up to three minutes to melt this massive amount of cheese. All right, it's in the cool phase. Now I'm actually gonna use a spatula. There it goes, it's done. Oh yeah, look at this. Let me see if I can get this out of here without like totally destroying it. And oh yeah, can you see that? Look at that. It's gonna go ahead and put it down here. Be careful, this guy is gonna be hot. We're gonna give it a little hat, and that is an epic eggplant sandwich. Taste test time. This is what you call an epic eggplant sandwich. Look at that. Gorgeousness, deliciousness on a bun. Let's get to that taste test. Now, like I said before, I always serve this like with a dipping marinara sauce. I'm not going to right now because I will get it all over the place. But we are gonna take a nice bite of this and see how we did. This is super good. Excuse me. It's delicious. The bun is beautiful with this eggplant. Delicious. I mean, it's amazing. So, please like and subscribe and, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more delicious, tasty, delectable Ninja Foodie recipes.